Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Pizza Connection 3. So, as always, hold on real quick, because I know I have to freaking check this before I do it. I guarantee you it's up. Look, look, there it is. <laughs> it never fails. It never fails. And I actually can't move it now. Uh, hello? I guess I'm gonna have to stop it completely and then move it. There we go. And then we'll advertise our price and service. So we'll start it up again. There you go. Now, now that that part's been settled. <laughs> Alright. So we should be... We Are we opened up here yet? I'm pretty sure we... What is our shift again? Three to nine. We just closed, actually. I have a guy... Wait, who was that that just left then? That was one of our runners, I guess, that had just left afterwards? Why are they just leaving? I mean, this is not one of the people that starts at 12, so... This person's just kind of running. I don't know where they're going. I don't know where you're going. Where are you... Where are you running to? I guess she's running home? Possibly? Tammy, where are you going? I'm just following Tammy, because Tammy's been running around half the freaking town now at this point. So I don't, I don't exactly know what Tammy's doing at all at this point. She's just kind of doing her own thing once again. Is this the market over here? This is the market. Market Hall. This is the Market Hall. Restaurants that have no warehouse assigned will get their ingredients from here. Oh, so this is where our ingredients have been coming from this entire time. Interesting. I don't really like the quality of the Market Hall ingredients aren't that great, of course, but you know. <laughs> I don't really have the money to upgrade it right now because of the fact that I went, I had that glitch again. You know, with the $10,000 which stole money from me. I was going to say I could take out a loan, but at the same time, that's not really worth it, I don't think. I think maybe when we get up to like maybe 16k or something like that, is when we may try and do the whole uh, warehouse thing again. But up until that at, up until that point, I don't think we're going to try it again. Alright, look, uh, a little under 8,000 right now. How's the pizza cart doing? 8,177. I think they're getting ready to close now, actually. Yep, they're closed for the day. Alright, how are we looking in terms of finances? So today we already have a profit of $66, and that's before the uh, before the second shift even starts. We've already done better than yesterday. Uh, Costa Nostra did better than yesterday as well. It uh, did $2,030 worth of profit. And Vespucci's... I don't, was that a voice crack? <laughs> Vespucci's? Uh, negative $1,174. Eh, better than yesterday already, and of course we still have that second shift that's starting right now, actually. Can we get the pizza done? Yes, we can. 8,371, we got two more people incoming, two more students at that. Come on, you guys know you want some more pizza. We can get like maybe two more people in here, right? Uh, I don't see anybody else. Nope, oh, there's one more. There you go. Oh no, he's gonna walk out. Oh, oh, just in time. Good. Just in the nick of time, you were able to get him his pizza. Oh, we got two more people coming in after that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Once again, I, I love this stoplight because it, it provides me with so much extra time. Because <laughs> of all these people, we're able to, like, run in here like they can, like, in this place. And they just run around the corner. Man, I'd be swamped. There'd be no way I could actually deal with all these people. <laughs> oh, look, we got two more people coming in. This is going to be... This shift was the best idea ever. <laughs> I don't care what the game says. Because the game said I could not get anybody look at all these people that I've been getting so I'm pleased with that so today we have a profit of $800 uh, Vespucci is at negative 700 right now we got three more people come four more people coming in I think I may seriously have to hire a uh, hire another waiter for this shift well that and I may have to hire another chef too actually at this point I don't know if we're gonna be able to get all these peeps all these pizza all these people their pizzas I mean, we may be able to, but I don't think they'll be happy about the waiting times. I think one of these guys is going to walk out. Yeah, he walked out. I figured that was going to happen. Um, we managed okay, I'd say. Like, only one person walked out. I'm pretty sure a lot of people may, ha may complain about the waiting times. Yeah, they do. Um, but overall, that wasn't that bad. $9,637. Made a total profit of $1,500. Profit of $1,500. Profit of $1, Vespucci's made $298. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. 1500 Global marketing was, for some reason, 790 even though I only did 500 I don't know what that was all about. Uh, but okay. Anyway, uh, it's now auto-saving. Oh, okay. Great. Cool. When do we close again? Uh, 21? Is it 21? Yeah, okay. So we're open for like another 20 minutes or so. 
I don't really think we're going to get anybody else in here, though, in those 20 minutes. So, yeah, we're stuck. <laughs> we're stuck for now. But, productive day overall. I'm still thinking, hmm, should I hire another chef? Because people are seriously complaining too much about the waiting times. And I don't really... Let, let's see who we can hire. Um, Seeking work. I really don't want to hire any of these people, to be honest. I wish I could find like a really speedy, good chef. But I can't find that nowadays. It's like, the first... Oh, I hired two chefs for the for that. Oh, no, that's... that's wait, what? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's waiters. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. When did, since when did I have two, two chefs on that shelf? Um... Hmm. Gerald Dunn, Tiffany Rose. I definitely don't want to hire either one of those. Jane Hamilton, maybe? Gloria Day. Mm, speed just really isn't there for any of these uh, chefs. Maybe Jacob? I mean, Jacob... Sure, we'll hire Jacob. He's not the best, but... I think we'll go ahead and hire him for that shift. And I think we may go at... We're going to go ahead and hire another waiter as well. Uh... Just go ahead and get these things done a little bit faster. Because I'm tired of them complaining about the waiting times. It's getting on my nerves. It aggravates me. Um, let's see. Friendliness. Uh, sir, mm, I don't really like slow servers. But I may not have a choice here once again. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, hopefully we can afford to do that. I mean that was like what? Two or three hundred uh, extra dollars there. So I mean we. Oh let me make sure I check marketing again. Just to make sure it didn't freaking move. Okay, still at 500. Okay, we're good. All right. <laughs> All right, because that's my, my nightmare there. How did we... $4,969. Really? That's how much we're losing already in a day? Goodness gracious, $4,969. We started with $9,000. Oh, my employee is $2,698 and rent $953. Okay. That adds up. We should... I was going to say we should be able to make that back. It's only an extra what... Uh. It's only an extra... Actually, it's not even... Well... Uh... It's not really that much more. Plus, we save a little bit on marketing today. So, we should be alright. The cost of notes just should do pretty well today again, once again. I'll probably get another profit of $2,000 there. Hopefully with the restaurant, since we won't... Uh, we should have everybody here in a... Why the frick are you guys here? Oh, yeah, this shift does start at 3 o'clock, doesn't it? <laughs> and there's no one showing up. Yep. Oh, there's one person there. I hired two waiters for this shift because they got really busy at one point. But now it doesn't even seem like there's a point to it. Because there's no one here. Like, where is everybody? <laughs> where is every... Oh, there's two people there. Alright. I was going to say, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I think we're okay, though. Whereas this guy isn't even bothering to do anything right now. There you go. I don't know if it's the... I, maybe it's not the waiters. Oh, God! There's like seven people over there. Oh, Jesus! We're about to get swamped! Oh, my God! One, two... Oh, no. There's no way we're going to be able to handle that. There's no... I have to... Oh, no. <laughs> no! No! No, no, no. Oh, don't tell me the grandma's coming over here, too. We don't have enough... We barely have enough seats for all these people. There's no way. Half these people are going to end up walking out. I swear. No. Oh, we got them their pizza just in time. Oh, boy. Oh, we're not going to be able to handle it. No, they're going to walk out. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we just got it. Oh, one person walked out. Oh, my God, there's more. <laughs> no, there's more. I can't handle all this. I'm going to have to hire another chef. I, I'm just, I'm going to have to. Because my chef is too slow for all these people. It, my chef just can't handle it. You just sat down and it's halfway? What the frick? You guys are so impatient. You just need to learn. What the frick just happened? Oh, we closed. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Why did everybody just randomly leave? All right, well, that was a nice little rush there. Um, <laughs> Costa Nostra has made $700 so far, uh, but they don't close till 1500 We stole a little bit of the business from there uh, and brought it over to Vespucci's. Um, I'm thinking I could go ahead and... Uh, I'm gonna have to put up another uh, put up another oven here, and let's see. I throw it over here in the corner here. I was gonna say, could I fit an? I could probably fit another one down there if I need to. It's an auto save there. All right, there we go. I think that's all I'm gonna be doing. I don't think I need to redo our furniture as of yet. I think it's okay. 
Uh, how are we looking for supplies? 315 out of 400. What's our, uh, are we using the maximum of it, or are we, like, I think we are. Yeah, we got it at full capacity. Some of that stuff's nasty and probably needs to be removed. That tofu is, like, freaking expired, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever at this point. I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna, yeah. Actually, I should get rid of that stuff. That That's really bad quality. But then again, I feel like if I do that, like, I'm gonna end up in a situation where we're gonna run out of stuff because of that. But you know what? I'm an idiot, so yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of all this bad stuff. And it's weird because I have an ingredient removal quality threshold, right? But it seems like half that stuff's not getting thrown out, and it's still just there. So, I don't know. We'll see how this goes, though. I'm probably gonna have to spend a lot more on ingredients today because of that. Thank goodness you're already here and ready to go. Although you're not really, uh... Not really bringing that much back, are you? I don't. I only have one, uh, one runner for this shift too, if I'm not mistaken. So we may end up running out of supplies today. I do have my two chefs now for this shift, and I guess I may need to go ahead and hire a second chef for that other shift too. I have two servers and two chefs. Uh, let's see. How is this? Let's see. When is this one gonna start up? Uh, uh there's one person so far. All right, that's all we've got. So. Not a big rush, not a, oh, there's two, there's another one, oh, there's another one, <laughs> what, what's going on? I was going to say, Jesus, are we not going to, we have two chefs and still can't get the pizza out in time, come on, guys, get it ready, maybe we should start freaking pre-baking pizzas or something, I feel like people are way too impatient, like, waiting times are outrageous, you waited for all of like five minutes, like, you really did not wait that long, oh yeah, you better be ready for this pizza, all right? All right, oh man, it was, it's still not helping. I really feel like, um, maybe I, I, maybe it's just the fact that one way or the other, if you have a slow chef, they're just not gonna be able to, the waiting times are just gonna be really slow one way or the other. Cause I mean, my, my servers are really fast. Like, so it, it's not really on them. Well, it's, well, she's not really that fast, but like, I don't have many options, you know? The employee pool is very limited. And so it's like, if you get someone that's super fast, when, a, when it's a chef, they're not going to be good at all, and you're not, you're going to, everybody's going to hate their pizza. So it's like, but it seems like people aren't willing to, se well, I guess maybe because our pizzas aren't great at the moment anyway. I was going to say, people aren't willing to seemingly sacrifice, uh, like, waiting times for good pizza. <laughs> but I guess maybe it isn't good pizza, so that's why. <laughs> it's crappy pizza. Uh, so... So far, we haven't been able to make a profit uh, off of the restaurant. We got one more person coming in, and I think that's probably going to be it for the night, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think we're going to be able to get anybody else in. Why the frick are you coming from over there now? I could have swore we were getting stuff in the marketplace, which was like down there to the uh, to the south, southwest. Uh, so I don't know where that person's coming from. Maybe Catherine gets hers from different places. I don't know. Uh, I think we're about to close in like five minutes. Yep, we're closed for the day. Let me make sure I check on marketing again before it gets to 24. Uh, usually I think it's just a loading glitch because other than that it stays. Yeah, it's fine. All right. So we did okay. I just, like I said, I wish they would help with the employment thing because I, I get tired of looking at the same employees. <laughs> I just don't, like, the, the pool here is just not very good. I mean, runners, I can tolerate the runners not really being one or the other. Like, but, like, chefs and, and servers, I really need good people. And if I can't find that, then, like, it, it kind of just hampers, <clears throat> it hampers the entire process. So, I'm thinking, uh, we should be okay for that shift. We, we, we did have a crazy rush earlier, didn't we? Uh, so I don't know. I was thinking about hiring another chef. Let's let's go ahead and see who we got. 395, uh, Jane Hamilton 362, uh, Glory Day 349. Uh, I'm thinking, 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 thinking. I think we can do. Let's do which one is faster? Jane is slightly faster, costs like thirteen dollars more. All right, we'll do that. I don't think we're actually gonna make enough money for that. I may have to cut back on some of those workers. May have to fire people, which is an unfortunate decision, but, you know, 2,810. Wow. <laughs> That's what we're down to now. Oh, man, this is getting rough again. I may have to, uh, 
yeah I'm probably gonna have to cut back negative four thousand five hundred thirteen hmm I guess we'll see where we're at all right let's go ahead and speed up through the day and <clears throat> see where we end up we won't have to spend a thousand dollars on furniture today and hopefully now with another shelf on that shift we can actually um and actually make sure that we get everybody their pizzas on time or not because they're still not getting their pizzas on time I'm only hoping for that rush again like we had yesterday <laughs> uh, even though it was it was very unwelcomed at the time these guys are just standing around I need one of you to do your job one of you to do a better job oh here comes the rush it's a it's a seven o'clock rush why the frick is there a rush at seven o'clock in the morning I can see like 12 o'clock because that's like lunchtime but there isn't a 12 o'clock rush it seems like it's a seven o'clock rush <laughs> It's not even really 7, it's a six a 6.30 rush. 6.30 in the afternoon makes sense because, you know, people are coming back from work at like 6, you know. At least where I live. Uh, we're not going to be able to get these pizzas out, are we? Uh, okay, we got that guy's pizza. Uh, well, the pizza quality is seemingly getting better. This guy gave it a 68. Uh, this guy, what'd he give it? 64. Uh, not bad. I'll take it. We got another person coming in. That probably may be one of our last customers for the day before we close at 9, I think. Uh, that's one person. Uh, we got two more coming in. I don't think we'll be, Well, that's three more now, considering that person there, too. Oh, and that person. I'm sorry, that's four. I don't think we'll be able to serve all these people before we close, but, man, if we could, that would be great. I think I may have to... Uh, let's say I may start up another shift, then. If we got that many people coming in at 9, it may be worth it to actually... Uh, to, be, to actually start up a shift and switch those guys since I already have it seems like like I said one way or the other the server thing is it really the issue like taking their order is is like it seems like we're doing that okay but it's like it's still the chefs like it's not the server so what I'm gonna do is for tomorrow I'm actually gonna I think I'm actually gonna switch this to the nine o'clock so pretty much we'll be fully staffed from three o'clock in the morning to uh to 21 at night which is nine o'clock right well no let's see three o'clock this is 24 hour clock so yeah nine o'clock at night yeah pretty sure i yeah 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 <laughs> i had to think about that for a second I'm like wait what? 15 because 15 is three o'clock 18 would be uh six o'clock that'd be 9 12 and you know midnight pretty much all right we're good uh, how much where are we at in terms of profit uh, negative at 111 so we actually did pretty good today not bad and we still have the other uh, shift to go so we're at 700 now in terms 700 profit which is weird because yesterday we spent um, yesterday we didn't sell it we sold more pizza oh the ingredients we didn't have to spend as much oh yeah because I did get rid of half that stuff yesterday <laughs> so that was my bad that was definitely my bad. Eight thousand, nine thousand. By the end, by the time uh, the morning starts, though, we're gonna be back down to like freaking three thousand or something. <laughs> Which is so unfortunate to look at because you're like, oh yeah, look, I'm at nine thousand dollars. It's like, and then the day starts, and it's like, oh, I'm actually at three thousand dollars because I only made a thousand dollars of profit. <laughs> Fifteen thirty-five. We got one person, two people. Oh, four people coming in. I need you guys to get going, get cooking, get a going. We got another person coming in from over there. Oh my god, they're so meticulous with the things that they do. <laughs> they're so meticulous. I really wish there, like, is there maybe an upgrade that I could get for these guys? $2,800 of profit, that's the best I've ever done. Things are getting so much better now. I'm still looking at the employee tree again, just because I need to. Wish I could, like, I think they said it used to be a thing that you could train employees. That would make sense. Like, I could train them to get faster or something. I would love that, but I can't at the moment. So, you know, whatever. I think this shift is... Eh. Oh, we got an oldster coming in. I haven't seen an oldster in here in a minute. It's been mostly students lately. We're up to $10,428. Uh, let's see, our profit for today is $3,100. Ah, not bad. Let me check marking again. Make sure, because we're about to get to $24. Uh, oh, we're good. Still good. $500. Anybody else coming in today, or is this it? I said I was going to switch that shift, so let me go ahead and do that before I forget to do it. Uh, I'm switching all of these. Well, actually, should I just hire people for the shift, or should I switch? 
I feel like I need the like it was already kind of a rush so I feel like I need those guys in a way to kind of stick with that shift uh let's go ahead and do we'll hire people we'll see how it goes for the first couple days and then if it doesn't go that well then uh then we'll make it we'll make a decision then 382 I'm gonna have to hire someone really freaking slow Gloria versus Brian Brian is a little bit faster Nathan's faster than both of them I think we'll go Nathan's cooking quality isn't as good but we'll go Nathan uh, so we'll put him on that shift there uh, I need now a server <coughs> need a server um I don't really want somebody that's super slow but at the same time then we would have a quality we'd have a friendliness issue and then people would be like my server was very unfriendly and I hate them for that uh, I'm gonna have to just pick somebody aren't I uh, let's go ahead and pick, but with a slow server, I may have to switch, because I, like, I need at least one fast server on these, uh, things here, so I may have to switch one of these, Ashley, Paul, Raymond, let's switch, let's switch Paul, we'll switch Paul, and then we'll hire a slower person to, uh, work Paul's shift that we had him on, uh, so we'll do, uh, friendly but slow, pretty much. Hannah Carroll, Crystal Hunter. Crystal's gonna be walking at like five miles an hour. She's gonna look like a freaking turtle out there. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, that's not important. Uh, let's see. So, financially, we're okay. 2,877. Alright, let's head into the next day. I'm gonna see how this goes. I'm probably gonna call an episode there. Uh, let's see. 23... 24... There we go. $5,191. Much better than yesterday. <laughs> Of course, our number one complaint has been about the uh, waiting times, which, like I said, I can't really solve um, because of the fact that my friggin' shelves are too slow, and even if I hire more of them, it doesn't get any better. <laughs> it's still, it's not that we're not, it's not that we can't, it's not that we can't keep up with the number of people, it's that we can't, we can't make pizzas fast enough for the number of people, which doesn't really make sense, but, you know, <laughs> I, that it seems counterintuitive like we can but we can't we can keep up with the number of people but we can't make the pieces fast enough but we still could it, it's weird it doesn't make sense now that I just said that again it doesn't make any more sense than the first time I said it but my way of explaining that I guess would be like it seems like people are just too impatient like it's not that the two chefs could definitely if they had what I'm saying is if they had the speed we definitely wouldn't have a problem serving eight people at a time. Like, we wouldn't have an issue. But because they're slow, they can't really do it. Like, we, you know, or they, it's like last second, you know, shot clock cheese. <laughs> it's like just barely making it. We got, are you coming in or not? Waiting times at Costa Nostra are outrageous. Well, you know, it's Costa Nostra. You don't expect to see great waiting times at a food truck. That's right next to a freaking school, by the way. <laughs> right next to university we got two more people coming in this is i switched the slow guy to the shift right uh -huh. or a slow woman i'm sorry yes look how slow she walks in comparison to the other guy <laughs> it's just like I, i'm taking my own due time don't want to drop the pizza trying to be very very cautious here <laughs> don't want to burn myself or the customer at this point <laughs> oh boy Looks like we got, is that four more people coming in over there across the street? Oh boy, this is gonna get tough now. Oh, five people, six people, oh no, here comes the rush. The seven o'clock rush, oh no. Cut, freaking, this lady, this girl's gonna kill me. Crystal's gonna be the death of me on this shift, I swear. Crystal's not gonna be able to get pe people their pizzas in time. Look, she's just walking like she's got nothing else in the world to do. And there's like three more people incoming. Oh god. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's an oldster coming in, sitting at the table with all the other people. Oh, what? We're seemingly doing okay. Oh no, please don't walk out. Please don't walk out. But this guy's gonna walk out. He's not gonna get his pizza. Oh, oh, no, he walked out. I thought we just got it to him, but nope. That's two people that just walked out. Ah, oh, boy, oh boy. Look at this 9 o'clock shift, though. This is good to have this, because look at how many people are in here. The restaurant's pretty much full. It's six out of eight, and with those two people, it would be a full... Okay, well, now it's five, because she just left. But the restaurant's pretty much full at this point. I thought I... Oh, I thought I had a second chef for here. I didn't make another chef. Ooh, I may have to hire another chef. 
because we got people walking out left and right. This person said they didn't even get served. I don't know how that's possible, considering we should have... Oh no, this is the shift that I literally have one person on. <laughs> oh, that was a bad idea. I'm definitely going to have to hire more people for that. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work out. Um, Hannah Carroll, Marilyn Mills, uh, Charles Wheeler. We'll hire Charles. Charles is a little bit faster. Uh, and we'll go ahead and hire a second chef as well. Uh, that's, no, that's assigned waiting staff. Uh, Gerald Dunn. We're still looking at some of the same people. Brian Douglas. Uh, thinking, thinking, thinking. I think we'll go Brian Douglas. Uh, I think, yeah. Well, well, no, Gary Little is a little bit better, actually. I didn't see Gary. Welcome to the, t oh, God, what was that? Welcome to the team, Gary. All right. Not bad. I'm pr I hope we can keep up with supplies, too, because I'm going to have to look at the statistics afterwards to see how well we did. Because I know a lot of people walked out during that uh, during that shift there. Like, a, a good number of people walked out. But, I mean, we've already almost made all of our money for today. And we still have another shift to go. So, we're at 9,000. We've already made a profit. And that's with the increased number of employees now. Because I had to pay them still one way or the other. So... <clears throat> We're still looking good for supplies so far. We're at 315 out of 400, so and we're managing. We're managing okay. Uh, we're at 16 for the day. Uh, there's one person coming in, two people. There we go. Where's the rush? I need the rush. Give me the rush. There it is. There's the rush. Three people, four people. I want it all. No, I don't because I can't handle it all. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so we're, we're managing. We're managing okay. $11,000. Better than yesterday. Uh, let's see, financially, $903 of profit. Seems like we should be in a better spot, but we're not really. Uh, and, well, we spent more on ingredients today. I guess because we used a lot more anyway. Uh, this shift is still open for like three hours, though. Or like two hours now, so we may get some more people in here. Yep, there's two more. There's an oldster there, and then there's one more. There's a student coming in, and that may be... Well, these people are looking for pizza. Maybe they might... Oh, yep, there's one another one if I could get my range down here man I'd be able to get so many people from over here that's the next thing I got to focus on. well I said I was gonna get the warehouse next didn't I I was gonna say uh, the next thing I wanted to focus on was trying to get a uh, mascot down here I could try and do advertising but then that they're still kind of out of the range of this banner here so it's like look like looking at it they may just be able to get it but if I if I put a guy right there he would be able to get all, like, not all of them, but he'd be able to get a good number of those people. Uh, we got an oldster coming in. I don't think she's going to make it in time. <laughs> I don't think she's going to make it. She's, she's making her way, making her way downtown. I don't think we got to serve them. What the frick was that? She just went all the way home all of a sudden. All right. Well, that was a rather productive day. Uh, financially, $1,500 worth of profit. Not bad. And considering we had all those walkouts, you know, it definitely could have been better uh Vespucci's what Vespucci wise we only made a thou we made negative a thousand so we actually didn't make any money today negative a thousand two hundred sixty two why are we still <coughs> sorry about that excuse me I was gonna say why are we still bringing in supplies we're freaking done for the day but I, that was that was all right I think I I, I want to see the statistics so we had 52 visitors today and uh, well we could have had 52 visitors 38 of them found a chair, 29, so we, we lost 8, what is that, yeah, 8 people in terms of uh, actually receiving pizza, so we had 8 walkouts, so, uh, oh, that says improve the speed of your ingredient supply chain, that has nothing to do with why we can't serve the people pizza, the larger kitchen has nothing to do with it either, and more cooks has nothing to do with it either, that's not the issue, my freaking chefs are just too goddamn slow, <laughs> that's the issue, but I'm gonna end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.